Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I want to walk through building a product funnel. Now, if you've been watching the recent videos, we're just getting back from a hiatus where I let a lot of stuff go dormant. I was away unplugged for a good two months. And now all of our process is getting things kind of cranking again. We're getting the, the stores that weren't doing much while I was gone and we didn't focus on getting them cranking again, getting all the pieces of the machine kind of rolling again. And one of those main things we need to do is get our main niches and our main products that have done well in the past kind of on a roll, get started again, so that we can have some revenue coming in, we can get some some people and some audience people coming through our funnels so that we have money to continue launching new design ideas and grow on those aspects. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this funnel that we are seeing here on the right side. And this is pretty much just a three product funnel is what we're considering here where I'm choosing three different products at kind of different tier price levels where I have the first product we're going to launch and pretty much kind of the key for this is any oval here is going to be an advertisement, any diamond is going to be an audience, any square is going to be a page, a sales page, and then any um, can't remember the name of these at the top of my head, trapezoid or whatever. This the weird rectangles, is going to be our email. So we're using advertising with our Facebook ads, those concepts, and then we're also gonna be using email. And pretty much as we have, we have three different products we're selling, the pig face color changing mug, um, again, we're getting our Barnyard Bliss store kind of cranking up again. We just started ads yesterday. If you're in the boardroom, you would have seen the one campaign we started there. New canvas print, sold one of those yesterday. Um, so we can go ahead and check out these products. But pretty much I'm going starting up our pig niche again. We've got the cows kind of just started yesterday with the canvas. Now we're going to get the pigs kind of cranking up. And I wanted to choose three different products, again, that are tiered. First off, the pig face color changing mug. So we'll just go into our pigs here and get these products. This is a low cost product that's very cool. It's got a, you can see it's very simple here. Um, very viral type of feel to it because if you've seen all the previous case studies I've done, previous videos I've shown you how we're using some uh, videos, video ads of just the color changing mug can get a lot of interaction, a lot of engagement, a lot of clicks. So we're using, we're going to use this product to get that viral engagement, create our audiences, create sales on this front end product where we're not going to worry too much about profit, but we're creating buyers into our business that we're going to upsell our other products. Now, the next product in the series, I have our pig face shoes. This is a very big seller for us. Um, we have the canvas high tops, low tops, and we also have the sneakers here. So this is kind of our mid-level product. Now, we could also replace maybe this mid-level product with something else that sold well, maybe our bow tie pig pillow here. That's about $32. We could do a t-shirt, or we could have these two products on the front end as well, and we're still upselling the sneakers. Now, the shoes sell very well for us so we want that in the back end and as you can see we're closing that front end sale we're not worrying about the advertising so much in the back we're going to spend a little bit on this audience but we're going to really get a good ROI on these folks that are long-term lifetime pig lovers there and then also in this funnel we have our third product we're going to create a pig canvas now I've been talking about canvas prints a lot lately they're the new hot product that have opened up for us on print on demand platforms you can use viral style and gear bubble um, there's a new one print trends just hit me up they offer some things so we're going to try them out a little bit in the future um, so we can get these canvases up and the cool thing about these is they're high-end products we can sell them hundred two hundred dollars with a really nice canvas large size I have some kind of hung up behind me here and good profit margin so that's gonna be our third product in the funnel um, just kind of testing it out as we're building this now as you can see we have a few different things happening here <clears throat> I guess I already said that so first off what we want to do first step I'm gonna take is I'm gonna create a pig canvas prints. Now we have a lot of old uh, pictures and images that we could use. You know, we could take our bow tie pig pillow picture here, the design, put it on a canvas print, our Just Love Pigs pillow here. 
Um, all these different designs we have, we could just reuse and put them onto a canvas. We could have some commissioned and created for us. What I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go and just find some public domain art. So public domain pictures, and we can search around, find some pig pictures, maybe to find something really cool that would work. Just kind of going around public domain archive. All right, so we can search out pig. <clears throat> Got a few images here. Kind of thinking artistic. So I'm going to take one of these graphics. Let's let me take like this one. And we'll use a photo editor. Now, if you have Photoshop skills or a designer, you could go out and have them do something. I just did a quick search for a turn a picture into a painting app. And I found Be Funky here. And there's all types you can have on your phone. You'll find apps to do this type of stuff. But we're just going to go ahead and try this one out for free. We can upload our graphic that we just downloaded, our free public domain graphic. Maybe turn this into a cool, like, painting type of art. So we'll just go down all the different styles here. We can see, you can see they have, they're adding a little badge there. That's kind of interesting. Hey. All right, just kind of finding something, see how it looks. The pig face might do better. I, one I've always seen from a, a company, Pigs Can Fly. These guys actually obviously learn from my system because they followed the exact same layout, theme, products and niche that I did long ago in some case studies, but I saw this one floating around they were selling. So you can see it's just a, a standard pick. So we could do our bow tie. I guess it's kind of pro, kind of mimicking off of our bow tie pig, actually. Now I think about it. Well, that's okay. They have an up and down. Now, if we're going to go with up and down, we're going to have to... Gear bubble only has the rectangle. So we'd have to make that one. We have our bow tie image here. Laughing pig, try that one. That's not too bad. I don't know Would the pig lover like that on their wall? Probably not. Maybe the Love Pigs one will be good. See, like, just turning that one. To a painting could be our answer there. Pig young. It's a good close-up shot. Can edit some things. Like we could take that even, even cut out that front pig, put a colorful background on it. <clears throat> Give it a little change of flare going through. Do you like that top one? So we'll just kind of look at our options here. Let's 
see, I kind of like the pig on the first one. Cut him out, maybe take a different background, put it on here with a different filter, and then put them, layer them on top of each other. Could be a cool way to go. You know, like a cool background with this type of red, but you have the white, the pink pig coming on the beginning, on, on the top. All right, we can clean up the dark edges and stuff. Maybe give it a cool background look here. Like something like this. Let's go another public domain. Put it in front of something cool. You can really do this probably with all of these type of photos. Monkey lovers, elephant. Like a barn, sunset, maybe. <clears throat> maybe a stars. Kind of cool. The black fits in well there. Let's take this photo, throw it into our digital art thingy, and see if we can make it any different. So that's how it would look if we do it the same style we have it in. That's kind of cool, but it takes away the starry night effect. This looks freaking really cool. <laughs> Just getting a lot of design ideas right now. Let me just grab it and see how it looks here real quick. kind of like that a little bit better it gives it it's more the style of what it's in and if we really wanted to go with that type of route we could probably give it a bow tie we could give it some glasses we could give it a top hat and make it the photo Like it. All right, so let's now just consider some accessories there. So the bow tie does well, maybe a top hat. Let's go to just Google for our little accessories, see what we can do. Oh, I'm not shopping. And again, I will take this and put it in that graphic editor just to give me some different looks. I just want to honestly see how 
if it'll look good. Magic wand, I think. <laughs> so the top pack kind of looks good, honestly. <laughs> like we could clean it up a little bit. But for what we're going for, it takes up that space. We have a top hat. Maybe a monocle, that'd be the way to go. A little monocle hanging down, I like this guy right here. <clears throat> Maybe just a top hat though. That'd make me laugh how. I think a monocle is going to be necessary just for the theme of what we're going for here. I think top hat monocle pig is going to be the whole idea. Monocle. And I also need to keep in mind the size. I'm going to want to go, if we're going to use gear bubble, we got to go with the, the width rectangles. Viral style has up and down, they have them all, so we could work with that give me just a good looking monocle like that oh damn that looks good and then, I mean, we could cartoon that as well right now. But just look at how the transparency in the middle there. We'll probably just keep it as is. Hot damn, that looks pretty damn good, I gotta be honest. I think that's gonna look... I think that'll do it, son. <clears throat> All right, so now let's go ahead and hop on over to Gearbubble and create this sucker. Thirty by forty, hundred and fifty bucks. All right, we have our template art here. We got to open up and then fit this sucker in there. So the pig and everything looks pretty solid. The background here, we want that all the way. Let me find that again. Here, I'm gonna take that whole thing, Let's grab it like that. You can see how big this image needs to be. That is quite all right. We'll make it work. So we can see what's going on here. Kind of see what's going on. We'll clean this up even a little bit more just so the lines aren't there. You can even see just a little square line coming right there. Maybe let's do this. We'll throw on the white background. There we go. We can see 
just where we are cutting things out, these little lines, we can clean that up. Our blacks. Oh, that's a little fade brush. All right, so we'll merge these together, pop it over here. Make it big enough. Now, got to think about our placement now because uh, beyond the blue, the green is a safe zone, so it's dotted line. The blue is pretty much kind of right where it's going to wrap. Now we got the backgrounds fine, but the bottom area here, do we want to have it looking like that where the bottom's going to have that? Or we can bring this guy all the way down. Then it cuts off, you know, that section. So if we're looking at it like that, I think I like it like that more so. I don't know if it does too much difference, but let's go ahead and save this as pig top hat canvas design. Got to save it as a PNG for gear bubble. That needs to be under 100 megabytes. Hopefully that's the case here. There's a lot of color into this. So far it looks pretty good. Let that sucker upload all the way. Going slow, no problem. Gonna add the 18 by 24 in there as well. All right, so 149.95, that leaves us an $81 profit. The smaller one, we have it like 99.95, I think it's like a 60, $50 profit. You can play around with those. I've been sitting there just at these prices. They've been doing pretty good. They cut out the low um, end market. Like a lot of people might say, you know, a little expensive at $150, but this is a 30 inch by 40 inch, very large um, canvas. If you can see back there, uh, you'll have. So next step, this will wrap it around. It looks like we should be pretty safe. And then we have our mock-ups as well. I believe Gearbubble has some. And then if you are using Viral Style, Viral Style has a good collection of mock-ups you can use to sign up with theirs. Um, just to give you an assortment of graphics, you can check out like graphicriver.net or those other mock-up Photoshop type sites that you can find some really good ones. Now, we'll merge. Copy that, create these mock-ups, get this product listed, start our, our funnel. All right, guys, so there is our awesome canvas. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded in the store. going to take a lunch break here. I'm getting super hungry, and then I'll come back on a part two, and we will start setting up our funnel here. Now that we have all the products right in place, all we got to do is get the ads going, the audiences, and the structure of what we're going to be promoting there. So, guys, I'll be back in a second. Talk to you soon.